Hey guys, just wanted to do my review of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 22, World's End. Um, so, this is, so of course we saw at the end of the last episode, Robbie Reyes emerged from the portal, you know, help created by the Darkhold. Um, it turns out that, and he, and he gets his car back and he's attacking, like, um, the superior, the LM, the superior LMDs, um, Anton, I think it was like Anton Iva, Ivanov or something. Like basically, was calling him Anton. So the he stacks the Anton LMDs. And he attacks there are apparently other Russian LMDs, and he's trying to get the dark hold. But even though um, bullets can't kill her, it it it, it seems like. Um, Ghost Rider's chain is able to harm her and bypass her healing factor where it actually leaves a burn on her arm. And so when Ada realizes that, she grabs a she teleports away, but she can't get but at least Robbie's able to at least get the dark hole back and meet up with um Shield and tell him that <clears throat> he only came back because he was able to emerge from the hell from hell. Because of the fact that the spirit of vengeance wanted him to get, come back, come to the dark hold, and because Ada is a product of the dark hold, that you that he has to finish, that he wants to finish her off. And the other thing is that Ada wants to get revenge on Shield by creating a similar incident, like she did, like the Cambridge incident in the framework, which allowed Hydra to take over. And this is by having um. Anton and the another Russian LMD show up at a conference in which um, General Talbot is trying to um, defend Shield, even though they're being f because they've been framed for um, Jeffrey Mace's murder, well Daisy specifically, and um, it and it makes matters worse when they said that the well actually they didn't get the dark hold back. Um, they get it. Think they get it back in this scene because they have it because they're showing it to the world leaders and saying how this would be able to help them stop in humans from becoming a threat. And then of course there's a Daisy walks into a room and pulls a gun on Talbot and shoots him, shoots him in the head and he miraculously survives. Um, and ter and that's what tips you off to the fact that um, it's an LMD Daisy that was sent by Ada and that she's trying to create, you know, I guess give a bad rap to Shield and in humans like she like she did in the framework. Although I don't know how she's. I mean, I don't think she's gonna obviously you know recreate Hydra, but it was just just a spite um, the team by making them fugitives again like they were early or like the first like couple seasons. And so they're able to get the dark hole back in the midst of in the all the panic and. Ada wants to sick the um, LMD on the real Daisy, but of course it's destroyed by Ghost Rider, and he destroys the Anton LMD. And they realize that because Ada keeps teleporting away, that they can't um, get to her. They're forced to refuel at the old um, Shield headquarters, even though it's it's wrecked from the explosion from the end of the LMD arc. And Ada teleports. And Ada teleports there because they're trying to, I guess because she figured out that they're trying to open up that hell gate that, that was used to pull, um, basically Fitz and Coulson and Robbie back from, from be slipping into hell in order to banish her, but... Ada teleports in and basically torture, like stabs um, Simmons with a with a screw and is like tw literally twisting and and makes Fitz force her to not only beg her to live but also to find out what what their, what their shield's planning to do with her and using the dark hold against her and then she still apparently kills Simmons anyway. And I didn't buy it for a second. I'm like, no, like I, I, I was like in denial about it. There's no way she's dead. 
And then you found out that it was and then you found out that when she teleports in front of Colson, who's trying to open the gate, um, the F- F- Simmons comes in and shoots her full of bullets as a distraction. So it turns out that the LMD that was stabbed, it turns out it was a LMD Simmons that was stabbed. And I guess, of course, Fitz couldn't, I guess, I guess apparently couldn't tell Fitz just because, um, I don't know if he knew about it, just because of, like, I felt like there was like, wasn't like a, as much emotion give it in that scene from Fitz's actor. So I don't know if it was deliberate because like he knew was that it was an LMD or what, but then it turned, but then the real twist is that it is when Coulson tries to grab Ada and she says, you really think you can stop me? And he says, no, but he can. And it turns out that the spirit ghost rider merged with Coulson as part of some deal that he doesn't explain like what the cost is going to be later, but he said, but they Colson and Robbie say to one another, you know, I don't envy, I don't envy you. You know, Robbie being the hell dimension Colson, the price you have to pay with the deal he made with the ghost rider, but he's able to get close enough to um, Ada to basically just burn her alive and finish her off once and for all. And Robbie, who's now able to open gateways between hell dimensions, decides to take the dark hole to a place where no one can find it and no one can get their hands on it again. And Fitz offers to stay behind and take the fall for the crimes that Shields are being accused of, but he said but Daisy tells him not to let his guilt get the best of him. He wasn't himself in the framework. And you know, going you know, going on the you know, and Daisy thought that going on the run, alienating herself from the team was going to help, but it didn't, and that they're they're going to stick together. And so they're all, and so the last, and of course, Yo-Yo had her own subplot where she was in the framework and was being shut down, and data and people, you know, people were get, people and places were getting deleted, and it was getting shut down, and Mac refused to leave hope, and Yo-Yo realized that he, she could not reason with him as long as she was, as long as Mac was attached to Hope, and it wasn't until um, she was de- her code was deleted that Mac was finally convinced to go through the gateway that was created by Daisy to escape. And there's this last shot of in the framework where Ratcliffe's on the beach ready to drink tequila, saying. This is how the world ends. It doesn't go out with a bang, but it goes out with, and then he just like vanishes, and then the drop of tequila just drops onto the ground, which is that was like a really nice shot. Um, and then Colson and the team are eating at a diner, and you think, and who you think is the authorities are coming to arrest them are there, but then they use this weird device that kind of freezes them in place, and they they're totally immobile, they can't speak or move or. And then the next shot is, you know, Colson waking up in some room where he flips some switches and it opens up a window where he's looking out into an asteroid field. And he says, okay, enough sightseeing. It's time to get back to work. I didn't know what to make of that scene, but people were people were speculating it had to do with the Inhumans since it had there was a little teaser at the end of the sh- episode about it. Um, and it turns out, um, I don't know, it seems like they're going to have a weird schedule. I'm glad I got renewed for season five, but they're going to have a pretty odd schedule, I found out, in which um, apparently Inhumans is going to be airing in the fall in S.H.I.E.L.D.'s time slot for like an eight-episode run, and then S.H.I.E.L.D.'s not going to come back until January 5th of 2018. Um, so... And apparently it's going to do, like, still going to have, like, a 22-episode run. It's just not going to have any, um, you know, hi- breaks or hiatuses. And then, and then of course, this season finale or maybe series finale would air on June 1st just because of the fact that, well, um, I mean, they're moving the show to, like, Friday nights at 9 just because, presumably because of their low ratings this season. And it's, so it, that's why I'm kind of going to, feeling that this may be their last this could be their last season giving you know that's where shows that are peaked usually just go to die i mean i don't mean to be a pessimist about it but 
it's not like, you know, if shows are moving like you know, Fridays or Saturday nights, it means they're not going to have last much longer. And, you know, I mean, it's kind of like a, it's become like a kind of a graveyard slot. It's not like, you know, the TGI Fr- Fridays any days anymore. So, but either way, I feel like this has been the strongest season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. so far, especially since they found a way to address the whole 20, you know, 20 something episode season problem that most shows have, um, which is how they broke the, it, which is how they broke it up into like mini arcs, you know, with the Ghost Rider, then LMD, then the framework stuff, which I thought was like really smart. And I feel like, you know, most show, as say what you will about this show, I mean, other shows can like, should be following this example. And there was never really, um, I think because of it, it was hard. You, it's hard to say that there was really like any filler episodes in it. So, or at least few to none, um, which is probably something that's a problem with any show that's still doing the twenty-two, the twenty-something episode arc, and you know they have to. And you know, I mean, they just, I, I mean, they do like one major arc or and but it has like a bunch of filler episodes in it and it feels like it kind of affects the pacing of it on some shows to varying degrees but anyway this is like i said my favorite season of the show it was really great to see old faces in the framework i love ghost rider he totally deserves to get his own spinoff um i just love like the chances that they took this season as opposed to and just trying different things as opposed to Say the Flash, which I feel like has been repetitive and not taking enough chances. But anyway, how, what do you get? How do you guys feel about this season? Um, what was your favorite arc? Ghost Rider, LMD, or the Framework? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.